Hey there, Mission Grove family. Pastor John Craigle here, and I'm excited to share with you two big announcements for our church family. First, I am standing here in Copper Blues Live, located in the heart of the Desert Ridge Marketplace. Did you know that Desert Ridge Marketplace is one of Arizona's most well-known and well-traveled shopping centers in all of the valley? With over 100 shops and 33 restaurants within walking distance of each other, you can see why. Well, guess what? CB Live is the new home for Mission Grove Church Sunday morning worship gatherings. Yes, you heard me correctly. We are gathering again starting here on October 11th here at CB Live. While I've enjoyed our worship services at Wildfire Elementary School, and who knows, maybe we'll be back there again someday, the fact is, is that there is no timetable for our potential return there. And so while I cannot share with you long-term plans in light of everything going on in our world today, here is what I know and here is what I can share with you right now. Starting on October 11th, which is our two-year anniversary as a church, and through the end of 2020, we will be meeting here weekly on Sunday mornings, offering two worship services at 9 and 10.30 a.m. As you're watching this, you might have a few questions that pop up in your head. And let me try to address those issues and things that you might be thinking about right now. First, why are we waiting till October 11th to regather publicly? Well, we want to use the weeks leading up to October 11th to prepare the facility, to train our volunteers, and then to implement all the safety protocols so that we can offer you the best and safest experience for you and your loved ones. Next, you might be wondering, are we offering children's programming? Yes, we are excited to offer Grove Kids during our nine o'clock service hour, and then we will have a family-friendly service at the 10.30 hour. Third, you might be wondering, why are we offering two different worship services? We've done so for a couple reasons. First, we wanna give you flexibility. You can choose the time that works best for you and your family. Imagine going to church with a friend or a family member, and then after church, you can hang out here at Desert Ridge and grab lunch or take care of some of that shopping that you need to over the weekend. Second, we are offering two services so that all of our children's volunteers will have a church service to attend as well. This is the first time in our church's history that we are moving from one service to two services on a weekly basis. And finally, we are offering two worship services because we wanna have the safest and best experience for you and your family. With two separate worship services, we have the opportunity to practice safe social distancing while still providing room to grow as a church family. Now, for those of you that are sitting there watching this video, and you might be thinking, John, I'm not ready to gather again publicly. I wanna let you know that's okay. One of the biggest blessings that we've seen through this pandemic is the creation and growth of our online ministry. We're not only gonna not stop our online ministry, but we're actually looking ways for ways to enhance and to grow our online ministry by offering live streaming of our live in-person experiences. And then we have on-demand messages ready to be watched on our website, on our YouTube channel, and we've even launched an audio podcast. So here at Mission Grove Church, we exist to help every man, woman, and child experience Jesus. We believe that God is for you, which means we are for you, and together we can be for the community. And so with that in mind, we are excited to gather again on October 11th here at CB Live as a church family, and we hope that you can join us. The second big announcement that I have to share with you is the launch of our fall ministries here at the church. In Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 and 38, Jesus said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray to the plentiful Lord of the harvest that he would send those laborers into the harvest. Our world is filled with difficulties, divisions, and distractions right now. And so what we believe our world needs in this moment is hope. And so that's what I want to do as a church. And so our fall ministry theme as a church body is the harvest of hope. We wanna share the hope of Jesus Christ in our homes, in our church, and in our community. By spreading the hope of Jesus in your home, we are going to equip and empower you to grow in your faith right where you are. 
We want to come alongside you and encourage you to take your next step of faith. And that's why our fall ministry challenge to you as an individual watching this right now is to answer the question, who's your one? Can you identify one person that you can help take their next step of faith? Maybe that step is to come to our church gathering when we resume worship services. Maybe that next step is to get baptized and to go public with your personal belief in Him. Maybe that next step is to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Or maybe that next step is to start walking and following Him in a discipleship training course that we've created called Experience Jesus. Wherever you are in your spiritual journey, we want to encourage you to take that next step. And then also we want to challenge you to help somebody else take that next step as well. So right now on our website, at missiongrovechurch.com slash one, you can download a 30-day prayer guide and start praying for your one. Along with spreading the hope of Jesus in our homes, we are going to be spreading the hope of Jesus throughout our different church ministries. In fact, starting today, we are doing a full-scale launch of our ministries this fall. For example, in our Grove Kids ministry, we are raising kids in Christ together. And along with awesome Sunday morning video experiences online that will then turn into amazing in-person experiences during our nine o'clock service, our incredible leaders have created personalized family devotional boxes that are gonna be delivered this week right to your home. These boxes are filled with devotional material so parents, you can disciple your kids right there and it goes along with each Sunday morning message. They're filled with crafts and encouragement and prayers and activities that you can do with your kids so that you can encourage hope within their lives. In our Grove Teens, we are giving students the place to belong and someone to believe in them. Pastor Clark has graciously opened up his home. And so starting tonight, September 1st, they're going to be having on Tuesday nights, Grove Teens house parties. These house parties will center around helping teens grow in their faith through worship, small group, backyard games. We're gonna be providing pizza. And as a little incentive to get there before 645, every teenager who shows up at Pastor Clark's house there on Tuesday night is gonna get free Dutch Bros. Yep, teens, you heard me correctly. Free Dutch for you and your friends, all a part of our Grove Teens house party. And along with these incredible Tuesday night house parties, Grove Teens is having a Hope Fest kickoff event on September 26th, where they're gonna take a group of teens and do an overnight in Wickenburg at a ranch to grow in their faith, have an opportunity to serve and to connect with one another. All because at Grove Teens, we believe that students need a place to belong and someone to believe in them. Next, I'm excited to share with you the launch of our women's ministries at Mission Grove. On Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock, starting on September 24th, Wendy McKay is going to be launching Grove Gals. They are going to be meeting at Cool Water Church on Thursdays through the fall. Now, I should take note that depending on where we are with schools and kids being in schools, that date could get pushed back. But right now, it is scheduled for September 24th, and ladies are going to have a chance to meet with Wendy and others to have a space to connect and be given the freedom to grow. Later on this fall, we will also be kicking off our Ladies Night Out, which is a monthly opportunity for women to gather together. And then we will be offering different Bible studies where people can grow in their faith and go deeper into God's Word. And for our guys, we are working right now to schedule a couple fun of manly events to get together, as well as some potential Bible studies that we can offer you later this fall. But more details on that a little bit later. And lastly, we are gonna be launching our growth groups here throughout September. By next Tuesday, September 8th, we are gonna have a list on our website of different growth groups where you can gather. Some will be online and some will be in person. No matter your age or stage in life, whether you're a young adult or you're 85, we wanna connect with you because within our growth groups, we believe that it's important for people to connect relationally to grow spiritually. So this is how we're spreading the hope of Jesus in our homes and in our church ministries. But we are also excited to announce that we are spreading the hope of Jesus into our community. And we're doing that in a few different ways. First, because of your generosity, we shared a $5,000 check to help Hope Valley Church and Pastor Jordan Healy purchase a new trailer for the church plant. 
And then we are going to actually send a team of volunteers on Sunday, September 13th to help them with their grand opening. If you are interested in joining me and our volunteer team that's going to help serve on another church's grand opening day on that September 13th, let me know by dropping a comment in whatever platform you're watching this video or email me at jkragle at missiongrovechurch.com. Next, we're going to be spreading the hope of Jesus into our community because we are going to partner with Hope Kids, a ministry that serves families who have children battling life-threatening medical conditions. Now, for those who have served with us on Hope Kids events in the past, you know that Hope Kids creates events and fun experiences for the entire family. Well, in light of everything going on with COVID and this pandemic, they really can't create these events because it wasn't safe for those kids to attend. So because they can't go to the fun, we're going to bring the fun to them. You're going to hear more details about this later, but we are going to be doing a toy and gift card drive to be given to families of Hope Kids who have kids fighting these difficult illnesses. So we're helping Hope Valley Church. We're helping Hope Kids Ministry. And we are also going to be providing regular service opportunities this fall as we partner with the Aviano community and the local school districts as they plan to regather later this fall. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for being for the community. Because of you, we can make a difference right here where we work, live, and play. How do you see the world right now? Do you see hate? Do you see hurt? I see those things, but do you know what I see most of all? I see a harvest. I see people that need the hope of Jesus in their lives. I see that the harvest is plentiful, but that the laborers are few. And so I'm asking you to join me on mission to love people in our community the way that Jesus has loved us. We have been blessed so that we can be a blessing to others. And together we can celebrate this harvest of hope and make an eternal impact for God's kingdom. Come on, church. We need you to jump in the game. Help us make a difference right here in the community. Because when we love people the way that Jesus loved us, when we really take part in this harvest of hope, we can make an eternal difference that'll change the lives for generations to come. Will you join me?